in the Thomasville Times Enterprise offices and building, there are no blacks working in and around that facility. And so we must ask a question, how diverse is the news here in South Georgia? It's not about black or white. And having blacks employed in the, Val in the Valdosta Daily Times or in the Equipment Free Press or working in around the Thomasville Enterprise, black does not make it right. But right always make it right. And so when we go to our hardware stores and when we look around our retail stores, we must ask a question. Who is employed and who are filling the jails and prisons and probation roles and even death row? We must ask ourselves that question. But above all, we must ask ourselves another question. We must ask ourselves, why aren't we creating businesses so we can employ white people like they have been employing us for such a long, long time? We must ask the question, why aren't we creating businesses and setting up convenience stores in others, other communities as others are set up convenience stores and grocery stores in our community? So there's enough blame to go around without blaming anybody. We must understand that the volume of sacred law tells us that God has no respecter of persons, and neither should we. And ask yourself a question, my beloved brothers and sisters. Ask yourself a question. As you go to church and pay your 10% in churches and you give in the offering, the benevolent offering, ask yourself a question. How many pastors do you see attending public meetings and standing up for Section 3, Title 8? and other problems in your community outside the four walls of a materialistic building. You know, back in the days of old, the so-called clergy or people of the cloth, they were the leaders of the civil rights movement. You could always call on the pastors to stand up when others were afraid to stand up. But today it seems as if though those who profess to love Jesus those who profess to love Muhammad, those who profess to follow the son of Amram and Yoshebel Moses, it seems as if though they're all scared as hell, and I'm included. But there come a time in God's world when we must stand up for what is right. How you doing, my brother? Good, peace. So I'm caught up in a world wherein I look out of the window, and I'm looking for our black leaders in particular to stand on behalf of the oppressed people like Jesus did while he lived, like Martin Luther King, like John Brown. I be looking for men and women not to dip, not to dip on these great honorable men and women birthdays that we say we celebrated. For instance, we say we love Dr. King, so we dip on his birthday. We duplicate his life and legacy, but we won't get involved. We'll have singing and songs and dance, and we'll eat barbecue turn legs and throw chickens up in the air. But when you talk about standing up for the 31 jail deaths in the Valdosta and Lyons County Jail, when you talk about getting a name of a park renamed, when you talk about Kendrick Johnson uh, being killed uh, or that died in the Lyons County Jail and have a press conference over the Lyons County building, the preachers, the deacons, the elders, the ushers, and the missionaries are nowhere to be found. I'm just telling the truth, and you can watch it on YouTube and, and see if I'm lying. After all, it's not about me, and it's not about you separately from the total community. And so if I'm not speaking the truth, then call me out on the topic and refute what I'm saying, but that I know you cannot do. And so why am I doing this? Why do I cut all these videos like this? And why do I jam the YouTube? And why am I getting so much attention? 
And why are so many people viewing my YouTube now? It is because they know that what I'm speaking is truth. They know that they have pain. They know their children are filling the jails and prisons. They know that they themselves are working on jobs and being discriminated against. They being fired, but don't even have <coughs> any recourse. Because nobody will stand up with them. And the average American citizen today is scared as hell. Yet we allow Rush Limbaugh, Glenn Beck, Neil Bork, black female colonists, <coughs> Stop Parker, to say anything they want to, as if though they are the only possessors of truth. When in truth, I call them, and Hannity, I can't leave him out, I call them the reverse Christians and reverse patriots of this dispensation. So now you wonder why I got all this all tangled up. I ain't following no, <clears throat> I'm not following no traditional outline. We've been outlined too long. That's one of the problems. We've been outlined and we've been redlined. And so now it is time to just tell the truth and let it all hang out. It's not about what they tell us, what is proper. They tell me, Ryan, you got it all jumbled up together. Well, my jumbling it up together, is it not better than those who got it jumbled up on the outskirts of town, in their churches and their mosques, and they know what's going on, but they don't say a damn thing? Yet they want to go to heaven. Yet they want to sing in the heavenly choir. Yet they want to see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But they don't want to stand up for the victims of crime. You need to stand up for those people who are victims of crimes. Stand up for the First Amendment right. Stand up for what you know is right. Don't just go to church, placate, duplicate, imitate these great worthies. We must become an active part. Are we going to lose this republic? We're going to lose it. And the wicked will always masquerade as servants of Allah. I repeat, in case you didn't catch it, they will always march as servants of Allah, our servants of Jah, our servants of El Shaddai, our servants of Jehovah, or some of the other 475 names that the Creator has called that I have. We're going to always play these games. But the question remains, if we can send our sons and daughters to die for foreigners. Why can't we stand up in the name of Jesus, in the name of Muhammad, in the name of Buddha, in the name of the son of Amram, Yoshebel, Moses, and others? Why can't we stand up to show our love for all of humanity? Something is wrong in our world, and something is right in our world. That's right, yeah, something is right in our world. It is right in our world to stand up for right. Excuse me if I raise my voice, y'all, y'all excuse me. I love you just that much. I can't play games with you. I can't act. That's why I don't hardly watch TV. I don't even go to the movies. I can't stand movies. I, 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 I can't. I'm tired of people acting. I see people acting every day. I, I see people go to church on Sunday. We fill these churches, these big mega churches. We fill them on Sundays and we put on our fine clothes and we put on our fine shoes and we talk and we relate and we use proper and correct English and we use outlines and we use a, a PowerPoint presentations and all like that. But we worse than a sweet potato when it comes down to standing up for our children's rights and the rights of those who are too afraid to speak for themselves. And so, if the preacher, and if the teachers, and if the lawyers, and if the doctors, and if you, and if your mother and father can get to heaven by seeing all this wrong in the world and not address the issue, if they can go to church and play these games with us, and yet never stand up on anything that's going to make it better for our sons and daughters, then why in the heck do I want to go to heaven? I don't even want to go to heaven. 
and sit down with you if you can't stand up for what is right in God's word. I don't even want to sit down with that Jesus who will allow you to go to church, duplicate, imitate, and placate his life and legacy, and then live in fear. I don't want to go to your heaven. I don't even want to sit down with your Jesus. I don't want to see your Abraham. I don't want to see your Isaac. I don't want to see your Jacob. The God that I'm talking about is not the author of fear. The God that I know, if he knew that there were 31 jail deaths out there in that jail from 1994 to 2009, I don't believe that my God or my Jesus would be happy with that. Now, I know your Jesus is happy with it. If people tell you that there are rats in the jail, if there are rats in the jail, big as cats, and you don't say nothing about it, do you think that Jesus would not say anything about it? <clears throat> I don't want to go to your heaven. If you can see the inhumanity to man and you don't say nothing about it, I don't want to go to your heaven. I'll take my chances somewhere else. Now I'm just speaking the truth to you. And to everybody that listened to this on YouTube, I want you to know something. This is not just me talking. You know I have presented inmates to you, former inmates to you, who've been in that jail, who know the conditions in that jail. Women who was in the old jail, they have told you the inhumane conditions. But do you not know the mayor, the county commissioners, nobody have said nothing? How can we live? How can we be? How can we go to church on Sunday? How can we do it? I just can't understand how a person can think God is, is, is foolish enough to let you into his heaven when you can't stand up for nothing that he stood up for. You can't stand up for the things that Dr. King stood up for. Yet you sit back and you say you're the best of the land. Somebody, my humble brothers and sisters, somebody have lied to you in the name of Jesus. Somebody have lied to you in the name of Moses. Somebody have lied to you in the name of Allah. If you can see what's going on in our world and it don't make you sick. So I'm going to close this out by leaving something with you this morning. I want to leave this with you. I may look strange to you, but I'm not strange to the God of my salvation. The God of my salvation said to me, Love your neighbor as you love yourself. The God of my salvation says, God have no respect of persons. The God of my salvation told through his son Jesus said, when you see the poor, you help them. When you see the hungry, you feed them. When you see other people in your community, you have compassion for them. You don't try to stifle them and push them deep and deeper in the hell and then try to put them deep in the hell so you can be lifted up. It's not about that, my brothers and sisters. And so I come this morning, like I always come, because I am indeed tired of seeing people playing games, even with the God of my salvation. What's happening, my brother? Come on over. I hear a brother what stand up listening to me, and this is what it's all about. It ain't about me, it's about all of us. How you doing, my brother? Why, why, why were you listening this morning? I guess it's me, Barry Josh. Your name what? Josh. Josh? Nice meeting you, brother. Yes, sir. Thank you. Got anything God. you want to say? God. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. I see you going to church? Him a long way, far from home. Far from home? Where are you from? Miami. Miami? Okay. What you doing here? You got a job? Don't have a job? What you do every day? Okay, okay, so you, you got some here, huh? But there are people who want to cut that off, you know that, don't you? They, they don't want you to have nothing. But there's a God somewhere. He's... Thank you, my beautiful brother. All right, have a nice day, brother. Anything else you want to say? Yeah, I just want to... Just want to say something, huh? I just want to work. They got to run again. They got to run again. So, the best is what you All right, thank you, my beautiful brother. You stand over if you want to. But we're going to close this out. Come on back. That's right. Come on back. I, wanna, come on. I, I just want to say to you that this brother here, he was standing over listening. You didn't see him, but I saw him. Brother, I want to thank you for coming over because it's all about us. You know, and, and, and if you heard something that could benefit you, take it in. 
and I know I learned something from you as well because when you told me you from down the bottom, I didn't know that. So thank you so much. Thank you for having on video. We'll be on YouTube. Thank you. And hopefully somebody can get something from you that he might understand, okay? Peace be unto you. Bye-bye. We're gone. Good job.